Hello and welcome back to Tim's Media. In this video you won't be able to hear the professional sound and quality of my microphone because I'm working with Adobe Audition again. In this video I show you how to fix distorted audio. So this video is going to be a fairly quick uh, video so let's get it over and done with. This right here is a distorted audio. If you want to have a listen very quickly Hello and welcome to another episode, my name is Jack Tams. You would have heard then that it peaked at red. Hello. The fact that it did that and hit this mark means it's distorted. The reason being is because I spoke into the microphone so loud that it peaked and flatlined up here, which is what we don't want and that's what makes the audio sound terrible. So, uh, I'm going to show you an easy fix do that you'll be able to notice that in the corner I have amplitude statistics and basically this will scan our um, audio and tell us if we have any possibly clipped samples which is what we're aiming to look at if you don't have this menu open already then you can easily access it by going on window and then it should be the first option available to you. Amplitude statistics. Tick that and then once it's open, it should be in the same menu as your effect track files and favorites. Then once that, you wanna double click and select all the audio in your file. And then you wanna scan the selection. What this will do is it will scan the right channel and the left channel and it will show you a result as to see which uh, channel has the most peaks in possibly clipped samples it says that's 6742 to 6635 samples are clipping which is not what we want so then what you have to do is go to diagnostics uh, and make sure that's open you go to window same place before and it will be a third option Below. But before we use diagnostics, a little trick which I um, learned very on whilst using this. Uh, if we are to look over here, you can see that the numbers that we've uh, received are slightly different. What you want to do is whichever channel it's associated with. So for me, it's more often the right channel. You want to uh, choose, see that number and match it or match it, make make it the same for the left channel. So to do that, you press uh, the left um, button over here, which deselects the left channel, and then you just wanna copy that left channel and then unclick the right channel and make sure the left channel is clicked. Delete what was already there and then command uh, or command or control V to paste it back in. And then you have basically these two channels are equal and then as you can see when we scan again the number goes down on the left channel and this is the moment we've been waiting for so when it comes to declipping or de um, distorting uh, the audio sample that I've recorded then it's pretty easy you just once you're in diagnostics you want to select the declipper in the effect option there's declicker which is for mouse clicks and delete silence which kind of gets rid of all the silence where you aren't talking and just leaves the dialogue which is kind of good for um, uh, podcasts and things uh, and then you can mark audio but we just want to focus on declicker and then you want to store heavily clipped um, samples so this is the preset there's have there's restore lightly clipped which is just like just about to clip but don't and then there's restore normal which makes everything normal level we want to restore highly clipped so we just scan it and this will tell us how many problems we have regarding the samples so as you can see down here we have 479 uh, problems detected uh, and then basically we just want to repair that so you press repair all and what that does is that it takes it to the new normal and then when we listen again 
Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Jack Tins. It's decreased, but then obviously, if you want it uh, to sound normal again, uh, what we do is we go to effects, amplitude and compression, normalize, and ensure that it's at the normal threshold. Obviously, you'll see that it's uh, all the stuff below um, 0 dB will be left because we didn't go above the threshold that we were supposed to on that side so that will maintain hence was this is uh, slightly lower than the length of what's below obviously then you'd have to play with the effects to get the sound you want uh, in the multi-track uh, but to give you an example if I was to go effects rack and Tim's media this will um, make it sound like it would if I was doing a podcast or a tutorial normally. So uh, you apply the effect. Obviously, I want to just unclick the automatic clip remover because I've been having some problems. But we'll listen to what this sounds like. Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Jack Timms. Obviously, it's detected dropped samples. But that could just be a case uh, of the software playing up. But it's just a case of if that hasn't uh, fixed, then what you want to do is scan the lightly clipped sources and see we've got two problems still. So we just want to repair those as well and ensure those are fixed. And let's have a listen. Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Jack Tim. It's okay. decreased slightly. And then uh, if we want to restore normal, uh, and scan, oh whoops, we wanted to make sure it's scanned and you see there's restore normal so I want to double click that and let's have a listen Hello and welcome to another episode, my name is Jack Tim. Obviously the audio is playing up at the moment, don't know why but it's probably more likely because when I did the recording it was way too overclipped so you'll get some distortion anyway but if you just get distorted in audio when you normally speak then there shouldn't be a problem you use the declipper method and your audio should be fine so that should save you the hassle of re-recording audio if you think it's ruined thank you so much for watching i'm jack tims you've been watching tims media and i hope you enjoyed this video um i just want to remind you that every thursday i do stream from 7 till 9 p.m on Twitch, Mixer, Twitter and YouTube as well as our website Tim's Media at jacktimsmedia.wixsite.com forward slash production slash live stream so please do stay tuned as um, next week's Thursday live stream will be a charity event whereby we will be supporting the NHS so please do come along on Twitch where you can um, you can donate donate through the link below uh, the live stream and we'll have some more fun on Gmod and hopefully more of you will come along and we can just chat essentially um, I just want to say a huge shout out to Trolley Bear Music for following me on Twitch it really does help it really does help me a lot and I really appreciate your music so um, yeah anyway guys thank you for watching this video goodbye Podcast imaging.